Hi, and welcome back to Classic MGB. Now, as the MGB is arguably the archetypal British sports car and has been around since 1962, it's not surprising that it's appeared in lots of movies. Whether it's comedy, drama or horror, our favourite sports car has appeared in most movie genres. In fact, an internet search shows there are over a thousand of these references, so picking out 10 was quite challenging. So, as with all our top 10s, let us know in the comments whether you agree or not on what your favourites are, and we'll try to include them in the next instalment. So, here we go. First up is Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery, starring Mike Myers in the title role. This spy spoof, released in 1997, became a bit of a cult movie and featured several classic cars. This shot shows a pink MGB GT, but it is slightly overshadowed by the beautiful E-Type in the foreground, although the colour scheme may not be to everyone's taste. We've featured this car before in our Top 10 Famous Owners video. The famous owner, ex-UK Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, and the movie, the biopic of her life, Iron Lady. While some reports suggest that the car was actually owned by a member of her staff who drove her around, in the movie, Meryl Streep playing the title role was seen alone with the car in the underground car park of the House of Commons. Now, the MGB is so ubiquitous that it's not surprising that it's appeared in so many diverse movies, including our next pick, King Kong. Unbelievably, there have been no less than 13 King Kong movies since 1933, and this 1969 MGB GT appeared in the 1976 version. It's rumoured that the car actually belonged to the movie's star, Jeff Bridges. Who can forget the legend that is Ron Burgundy in the well-known Anchorman movies? In it, Will Ferrell plays the hapless hero, alongside other stars including Liam Neeson, Steve Carell, Jim Carrey and Drake, although many of these appearances were uncredited. Despite the sequel, Anchorman 2 The Legend Continues, being released in 2013, it still features this MGB, albeit very fleetingly. Laurence Olivier and Michael Caine are probably amongst the most famous actors of all time, and in 1972, they teamed up in the movie Sleuth that featured them almost exclusively. Shot at the beautiful Athelhampton house in Dorset, Olivier invites his wife's lover, played by Caine, to his house. In this shot, Olivier is seen remonstrating with Caine's character with a 1972 MGB Roadster in the background. A quick check reveals that it's quite likely that this car is still on the road, as it was last taxed in 2022. If you own the car or know any more about it, we'd love to hear from you. For our dip into the horror genre, how about an American werewolf in London? Written and directed by John Landis of Blues Brothers fame, the story follows two American backpackers, David and Jack, who are attacked by a werewolf whilst travelling in England, causing David to become a werewolf himself under the next full moon. The Doctor, played by John Woodvine, is seen here getting into his car in the pouring rain, which made me wonder whether the Wabasta roof was leaky. Sadly, the car was last seen by the licensing authorities in 1999, so it's likely that this MGB GT is no more. But as always, get in touch if you know better. Monty Python has always been known for pretty wacky comedy, and their 1970 film And Now For Something Completely Different is no exception. In the last sketch of the movie, Upper Class Twit of the Year, both an MGB and an MG Midget are featured. Quite why they decided to use the MGB in this role is uncertain, but clearly the car gets the better of at least one of them. Sadly, we could find no trace of the registration number ever existing, so it's likely the car was running on false plates for the movie. Now, before we get to our top three, if you're enjoying this video, it'd be great if you'd give it a like and share it. We really appreciate your support. And if you'd like to subscribe and click the bell for notifications, you'll know when we upload more videos. Now, back to the countdown. 
Our thanks for this next pick go to viewer Tom Pugh. Grown Ups tells the story of five childhood friends that meet for a reunion 30 years later. Whilst the movie was written by Adam Sandler, who also stars in it, our focus is on Madison Riley, who plays Jasmine, Rob Schneider's character's daughter. As can be seen from this still from the movie, her MGB has broken down. I won't spoil the sequence for you as it's great, and there's a link in the description. It's well worth watching. Now, many people say their car has its own personality. My GT certainly has its quirks, shall we say. And cars don't come with much more personality than our next candidate, Herbie. In the 1974 movie Herbie Rides Again, the famous VW is seen wheeling past a fairly tired MGB roadster. Whilst the VW clearly steals the show, I know which car I'd prefer to have in my garage. Who would have thought that the MGB could appear in a Bond movie? But in 1974, The Man with the Golden Gun was released and an MGB appeared, not just in the background, but driven by a main character. The car wasn't actually driven by 007, played by Roger Moore, but by Mary Goodnight, the movie's Bond girl, played by none other than Britt Eklund. Sadly, Mr. Bond preferred his Aston Martin as he rather rudely referred to the MGB in the movie as an inverted bedpan, although obviously Mary didn't hold it against him as, predictably, they ended up in each other's arms at the end of the movie. So that's it, our selection of MGBs in the movies. We hope you like them. If you've got any favourites we haven't mentioned, drop them in the comments, we'd love to hear from you. As always, many thanks for watching. Take care.